Good morning guys and welcome to episode two of How to Grow Pumpkins. This is honestly a really sad episode for me because today I have to thin my pumpkin vines. Now thinning vegetables is one of my least favorite things to do. No, it is my least favorite thing to do in the garden because it makes me so sad of all these beautiful vines and I just want to grow them all. But you really don't want to with pumpkins because they're such heavy feeders. If I try to grow this many vines, they're not going to do well and I'm not going to get a lot of pumpkins. So we've got to thin these down. You really want about two to three per hill. It's always such a hard choice. I mean, these guys are like my babies. Look how cute they are. They, I grew them from seeds. I'm so attached to them. Now they say that you should really snip them to not disturb the roots of the other pumpkins. However, I feel like a couple of these are far enough away from the others that I am going to steal a pumpkin or two for my mom and I'm gonna get to watch them grow at her house. So that should be a lot of fun, but uh, yeah, let's get started. This is really so, so hard to decide, but I think for sure I wanna keep, this one is just show stopping, so huge has almost no blemishes and I really love this one. <sighs> I kind of want to give this one to my mom. I think that's the one. And then I think I should probably cut down. This one's really tiny, so let's cut this one first. There we go. So it would be better if I grew this one and this one just because they're farther apart in the mound, but I really want to grow this one. I just love her I can't part with her oh this is so hard you guys all right I'm going to try to carefully here we go pull this one up I'm gonna stick it in some potting soil to take over to my mom's house later today so Oh my gosh, it looks so empty. This is good timing though, because you can see this, they're about to run, and so they need to, they need to have their space. Should I cut this one? It's so hard. I can't even stress to you how hard this is. You know what, I'm just going to very carefully do this with my hands so that I can feel, I don't want to use a trowel, because I don't want to disturb my other roots, but that seems pretty safe. That's a beauty. I'm kind of thinking one, two, and three. Do we like that? And then cut the rest of these guys. Let's save this one because he's farther away. There we go. I didn't bring out enough cups because I thought, I, I told myself, you got this. I don't got this. All right. Cut them with shears. By the way, I just um, treated my shears with rubbing alcohol before I came out here. Oh my gosh, okay, we're doing good. I mean, this is my center one. This is the one that I love the most. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with that one and I'm going to very, very carefully pull the roots out. There we go, we did it, we thinned her down to three vines, ripped it off like a band-aid. That's still just the hardest thing to do in the garden though. I have been dreading that for weeks, watching my beautiful pumpkin vines grow up and I did not want to thin them, but we did it. We got it down to three per hill, which is I think a huge feat because I did not want to do that. Um, but now we're going to fertilize. So let's talk about fertilizer. I am a novice pumpkin gardener, so I'm not gonna talk to you about all these crazy fertilizing strategies that other pumpkin gardeners do go to them for that advice <laughs> that is way too complicated for me i'm a words person not a math person so that just kind of blows my mind um i'm just gonna go really basic so today i'm gonna feed with Job's organic vegetable and tomato this is a 253 that's nitrogen phosphate and potash this is a pretty basic garden fertilizer i'm just gonna sprinkle it along the base of the mound treat it once day and once probably in two weeks oh i should say two this was supposed to be my three week video. This was actually at three and a half weeks because it was so rainy, as you can tell my yard's pretty wetty. Um, so that got delayed a little bit, but this is about three and a half weeks for the pumpkin vine growth. I'm gonna give it a treatment today, treatment again in two weeks, and then I'm gonna switch to Espoma Garden Food, which is a 510 5. And this is supposed to be just a really good basic garden fertilizer. 
And again, just gonna sprinkle that according to the directions to give the pumpkins a lot of food because again, they are heavy feeders. So I will check back in with you probably in about another two, three weeks, hopefully when my vines have taken off across the yard. So thanks for tuning in.